All right, what's up, everybody out there? This is Aaron here. All right, so if you saw the, t uh, the deck profile of the Tier Element Dark World deck, well, then try not to get so confused if it looked a little confusing to you. Because, yeah, Dark World is pretty much okay. If you're going to play Fusion, pretty much all you're doing is your grapher. You're not depending on the other Fusions because Dark World is pretty much not a Fusion deck. But if you like to play Creative just like I do, well then, make a deck something like this makes it pretty cool and interesting. And not playing any of those cards that are so competitive. So, without further ado, here we go. So, yeah, I've tried this deck a couple of times already. Because, yeah, I only play like once a week with uh, some of my friends. And I have tried this deck. I've even, I've even been in tag duels with this deck, and it seems pretty interesting. Alright, so. Gates of the Dark World. Danger Thunderbird. Harpy's Feather Duster. TR Limit Rhino Heart, okay. Pretty much, alright. Pokemon. TR Limit Hanavas, okay. Alright, pretty much set. Alright, be smart, Esther. If you're going second. And then, of course, yeah. Gate to the Dark World. Alright, pretty much. Oh, God. Two, uh, two tier elements in my hand already. Damn it. Okay. Not so good. Pretty much, I would. Ugh, it, it's risky. Rather, you want to risk playing the danger, or. If you're playing the Rhino Heart, you're going to send away a tier element. And you got no tier elements or other dark worlds to play in fusion. So, all right, I'm gonna have to say end my turn. Now, my opponent plays a card effect. Quick effect, you can special summon Hanvis. Then you send away the top three cards: Ascension, Polymerization. Oh, okay, that was not good. Draw. Oh, okay. Okay. Now this is when it's going to get pretty... Oh, God. Really? Reveal Thunderbird. This is when it's going to get tricky. All right. I'm going to roll the dice right here. This is one, two, three. Let's see what the roll is going to be. Three. Rhino Heart's gone. Okay. Now Thunderbird will get special summon, and you'll get to draw one card. Monster Reborn. Okay. Alright, let's just say that was a bad hand, but that, that was not so good. <laughs> Did it look a little tricky to you? I mean, when I started playing this, it was way tricky to me until I got the hang of doing it. So right now, let's just say that was a bad hand. It, it, just, it didn't go well for me. So then, let's see. Danger Bigfoot. Grapha. Book of Moon. Danger Thunderbird. Card Destruction. Now, even if you're going to get rid of your opponent's cards, remember always, with Card Destruction, of course, yeah, you can get rid of their hands, but what if they drew cards that they're going to need? So sometimes be careful about Card Destruction. Draw. Rhino Heart Thunderbird, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Tear Elements Rhino Heart, okay. This is when it's gonna get risky. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk right now. Thunderbird is what I'm gonna reveal. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Four, damn it, that was, okay. Okay, but special summon, so they got rid of my Rhino Heart. And draw. Oh, okay now. Now we're talking. Card destruction now. 
So, Bigfoot ghosts, uh, Grapple ghosts, snow, uh, snow ghosts. Here's the thing. That was not paying a cost. So, remember, anytime the dangers go away, you'll get the effect so you'll be able to pop a face-up card. Graffa, destroy a card, snow, draw, and you'll be able to draw three cards. So first, let's, so first, let's play the effect of snow, because you do not know exactly if the draw cards are going to be what you possibly needed. So, let's say gates. Now you're going to draw three cards because of card destruction. One, two, three. Whoa, okay, now, okay, okay, okay. So you play Gates of the Dark World. Remove from play a Fiend. So let's get rid of Snow. Special Summon Snow. Draw a card. Oh, Rhino Hearts. Okay. Now we are really talking now. Sweet. Ooh, now how are you going to want to play this? That's my question. Because you have so many options you can do. <laughs> then let's go with, okay. Damn, what to do, what to do. You know what? King of the Swamp. Get a polymerization to my hands. Get Silva back to my hand. Special summon Graffa. Tier Elements Rhino Heart. That was all special summon, so I need a normal summon. This is your normal summon. Now, Tier Elements Rhino Heart lets you send away a tier element, so I'll throw away Merle. Merle. Now, whenever Merle or any other tier elements is sent to the graveyard, you're gonna get this right back from your ha uh, back from the graveyard, and any other monster you're gonna need, King of the Swamp, I'll put back to the bottom of my deck of any order, and that makes a fusion. So, King of the Swamp, I will play it as my Lucalios Special Summon. Well then, polymerization, silver, grapha, grapha, dark world, special summon, silver, get back. Silva, Graffa put back. Exine. Let's go into Titanic Galaxy. And a big lineup you got right there. Your draw. Polymerization once again. Alright. See what you got. Alright. She got a good spot advantage right here. Now, do I have any other fiends? No, I do not. Okay, so I don't. So you have a good big lineup right here. So you have a Titanic Galaxy, you have a Grapha, you have a Tier Elements of Kalios, and then you have a Tier Elements Rhino Heart. So, if you were to continue on, let's draw. Canvas, okay.
So if any time you intend to do the effect of galaxy, okay, remove. So then, all right, let's see. What do you want to do? Monster Reborn. Polymerization. Special. You have four monsters out, but there is still a fifth spot. You could play a monster. So let's just say let's put it right here. Now you have three out. Back to my hand once again, and special summon Grapha. So you see how somewhat how the tier elements work? And look how many combos you can do. Interesting, right? Or if it's not interesting to you, well then I'm sorry, but that's just the way this deck is played if you're going to if you're using tier elements with the dark with the dark world. So yeah, sometimes you could get a brick hand. Of course, yeah, any deck, any deck, you can get a brick hand. It's not gonna go well for you. But sometimes you do get a good hand. Cry Destruction, Snow, Merly. Canvas, Merly, Snow, and another Snow. Okay, that was that's that's bad. That's that's not a good hand. Uh, well, all right. Let's see again. King of the Swamp, Harpy's Feather Duster, Snow, Genta, Bigfoot. Okay, that's five. Let's draw. Dark Will Ascension. All right. First, send away Genta. When you throw away Genta, it lets you search for your Gates of Dark World. Activate Gates of Dark World. Use Gates of Dark World's effect. Remove a Fiend. Send away a Fiend. I will send away Snow. So first, I'll get Snow's effect, which is I'm going to search for a Dark World card. Graffa. Now, Gates of Dark World's effect is when I throw a Fiend away, I get to draw one card. Hmm. Alright then. Let's switch it to another Gates. Remove from play, Snow. Send away Graffa. Graffa. Destroy a card on the field, and I get to draw one card because of gates. Ooh, wow. We got a good hand right here. You're gonna set. If you're going second, you know, backfield, Harpy's Feather Duster. King of the Swamp. Polymerization. Rhino Heart, send away a Let's go Sheeran this time. Sheeran, back to my hand. I will choose King of the Swamp. Not not Graffa. Graffa you wanna keep in the graveyard. But King of the Swamp you wanna throw away. Send back to your to the bottom of the deck of any order, so 
does not matter. And let's bring out a Lucalios once again. Pass and your turn. Draw. Let's see. Wow, a second polymerization. All right, let's take a shot. So one, two, three, four. There's no four. All right, so they called it correctly. So, but, I, but at least I get to destroy. I get to destroy one. One magic. One. One face-up card. My mistake. One face-up card. My opponent controls. So, I got the pass and my turn. Draw. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Now, okay, maybe Ascension. Remove from play. So, Graffa and a Dark Monster. Banish them to play. Here we go. Overlord, Overlord of the Dark World. Monster Reborn, all right. So, that was pretty decent, all right. So does it look pretty interesting to you, like of how how it works? I mean, I, I enjoy it. It's 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 a pretty fun deck. Remember, if you're playing for fun, it doesn't matter. It does not matter to me if I lose. I just like to you know make cool plays. So, Thunderbird, Gold, Rhino Heart, Allure of Darkness, and a. Snow. Gates of the Dark World, huh? All right. Let's go. Gates of the Dark World. Let's do some draw power this time. All right. Allure Darkness. Draw two. Whoa. Okay. I'll get rid of one of my dangers then. All right. Reveal Thunderbird. Let's see what it's going to be. They called four, so that would be my snow. They threw away special summon my Thunderbird since they called it wrong. Search for snow. And then I will search, then I will draw one card because of Thunderbird. Um, I'm gonna go for, you know what? Rainbow this time, rainbow, I'll go for rainbow. So then, remove from play. Graffa, draw one card. Polymerization, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now let's see how we're gonna play this one out then. Okay, so Rhino Heart, normal summon. All right, Shearing, get these two right back. And polymerization in my hand. Okay, it all comes to my draw. Let's see if I can draw into a fiend. I did not, okay. So just set. I have my good monsters out right here. Because if I draw into a fiend, then it's gonna be work, it's gonna work right here. Come on, draw a fiend, draw a fiend. I did not draw a fiend. But I did get what I needed to. Also. Polymerization. Rainbow. Gold. Graffa.
Destroy everything my opponent, all my cards my opponent has on the field with a chlor. Chlorless. And now a special summon. Monster reborn in my hand. Get you right back. Special summon. Monster reborn. Get you right back. So sometimes think, do you really gonna mess up your plays? If you're really gonna get rid of your fusions? No, there are ways to bring them right back. And then yeah, there's the, that's how it works. All right, so that's all for it. That's all for today. That's for today's video. So, two elements, dark world, and then just, yeah, they have their fusions. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm the artist Strong Style. I have my other channel. I'll be doing this profile, uh, this deck profile and a video on there too, on that channel. So then, hopefully you do not get so confused on how it's done. But yeah. So yeah, that's the way the deck is. And then I started off with it, I got confused. Until I got the hang of it, all right, now I know how to play this. So, tier elements using with the Dark World, not a bad idea. It's pretty interesting. But then even though if I went that fast, you know, you're making so many plays, just remember always, you can get Ash Blossom, you can get Forbidden Droplet, you know, Evac Veilers, any of those cards can affect you and then possibly work. I'm not able to do that many plays, but since you're just practicing, that's how the deck would work. So, yeah, look how fun it can be. Competitive players, they would not do this. They would just play, if it's tier element, they would just do some kind of tier element, possibly with the Bistros, and that's it. That's not fun. That's dominance, you know. Um, that's just domination and um, being competitive. If you go in pure dark world, then pure dark world, but they're not going to play tier elements. So, I'll be speaking to y'all later. Peace.